na mbogi mbogi anyway guys did you enjoy that interview by Tui mbogi bosti yeah so people are doing great things up huh? just so you know if you're seated at home and you're wondering how do i make it in the music industry this is indeed the best platform to look out for because you get some tips here and there you know we have upcoming artists like one i have in studio right now this is the third interview we're carrying out today na maze hmm let me tell you Wera, no wera. Yes, I am with the one and only Mark Mansa. I feel like that that wasn't uh, the right <laughs> the right intro. So I'm gonna do it again. He yeah. is an independent rap hip hop rap artist. And Maze, me, I love the fact that his first song is using his mother tongue. And imagine it is a banger. So many likes, so many views. But I'm like, yo, bruh, for the first song. Anyway. So, <laughs> Mark Mansa, yeah, Karibu yeah, yeah. Kwenye Show. Thank you this so much. This is Hip Hop Thursday. Asante sana. We always drop nice, awesome gomas here in, yeah. the, in, the, in, the, in the show. Yeah. Now, leo nataka uongele share your fans. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Nataka uambie, why are you here? Uh -huh. What are we going to do today? Yeah, yeah. And which song are we dropping? Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, what's up, guys? My name is Mark Mansa. And if you're watching, I hope by the end of the show you'll be convinced and become a fan. Yeah, that's if you're not. <laughs> yes, sir. So we're just up here to discuss music and, uh, yeah, music business, mm -hmm. entertainment, that's it. Exactly. Yeah. So I've been watching you, just yeah. so you know. I've oh, been following you. your footsteps here and there. I won't, <laughs> I won't mention where, but I think I know you from somewhere. Oh, really? I know, weird, <laughs> <Okay>. huh? <laughs> hey, dropping bombs on the show. Yeah. Anyway, so um, we happen to be friends somewhere on social media platform, but I'll reveal it to you later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I am honored to be interviewing you. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, so yeah. tell us about your journey in the... I mean, you, you say that you started back in school. Yeah. So, ebu tueleze historia yako kama mwana mziki, ama mwana mziki anaye ingia kwenye industry ya music. Tueleze okay. a bit of your history. When did it start? And what has it been like? Um, it's been like, um, I don't know how to put it, loving a woman who doesn't love you back. Oh. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's that cold if I was to sum it up in like one line. Mm -hmm. But um, I started music when I was in like, after after primary school, mm -hmm. just before I got to high school. Class eight. Artists. Yeah, yeah, after class eight. Mm -hmm. So before that, I wasn't so much of a music guy. Mm -hmm. But in class eight, I met this guy who, he was my desk mate, and he introduced me to all the cool music out there. Mm -hmm. he, he was the guy who introduced me to Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. And uh, before that, I wasn't paying much attention. I was just like, mm -hmm. you know, I was, I was more of a book kind of person because mm -hmm. I grew up with books. Yeah, but after class eight, I had so much time listening to music because I have nothing to do else. So, yeah, th and uh, one day I just found myself, uh, you know, like uh, nodding to something. And I was like, okay, where did I hear that? Mm -hmm. And um, I spent like the whole day trying to, like listening to uh, radio, trying to figure out where I heard this song. Mm -hmm. And um, like a week passed and I was convinced I, I came up with that. Mm -hmm. And that was like how I started my music journey. So s that was before I joined high school. So then I joined high school, of, of course, doing the, the normal school stuff, like rapping and, and, and all that. Um, then I, I started coding. I actually started recording when I was in Form 1, mm -hmm. but it didn't work out mm -hmm. at Cariff Records. Mm -hmm. um, that project actually, we kind of completed it, but I think it's, if they have their old files, it's probably just there. I never. I uh, picked it, so um, that was it. Then campus came. Uh, in campus, I tried work on it, but then of course finances, that was always like a limiting factor. Mm -hmm. So uh, eventually I, I was not able to work on it um, up until now. So 13 years exactly. Whoa, yep. 13 years of trying to get yeah, things yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, just trying to tell this woman, let's go out for a date, and she's like, no. <laughs> Yeah. That's like the perfect yeah. representation of, you know, <laughs> boy child and struggles. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so you have been on a roller coaster in the yeah. music industry. Yeah. Maybe when is to Lesia, back at home, because yeah. you come from Aka County. Oh. Okay, it's not Aka, mm. it's a county on its own. Yeah. And maybe you can tell us about Nyandarua County and yeah. how, what it's like to be a musician mm. coming from that place. Do you guys have, um, you know, recording studios <laughs> that people go and. I, I know, but I just uh, want to know. Kuna mtu nyanda, ametoka nyandarwa yeah. na anashanga. Yeah, hey, Ma yeah. Mark, bede yeah. ulifikaju. Kwa misu yeah. get fair ya Nairobi. Yeah. But kama uneza get msei nyandarwa county at least. Yo, give me a, ka a kaliwe. 
Yeah. Um, well, I, yeah, I come from Nyandaro County, as, uh, as you have said, mm -hmm. a place called Kinangop. Mm -hmm. um, growing up there was cool, like, you know, you have the rivers to swim in, Wait. but now they're dry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. So, climate change. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that was the fun part of it. And, um, but music-wise, I'm sure there are studios there. I've never been to one, but I'm sure they are there. Mm -hmm. So, because maybe I was looking for a certain quality, I didn't go there. But I'm sure if you're looking for a studio, you'll find it in mm -hmm. some, some parts of, yeah, of Nyandaro. But I think, like back then, I, I used to hike rides from, you know, Taos. So, Sinta Simama told me, you know, like Ehe. when I was in high school, mm -hmm. I'd, be, I'd be like, ah, see, you need ride in Pakatao. When you I was were so smart. Her. I yeah. mean, how can you? You're still in. Co I mean, you're still in high school, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you make it all the way to Nairobi yeah, yeah, to just record. Yeah, yeah. This is you hustling yeah, while yeah, still in yeah, yeah, high school. Yeah, while still in high school. So you have to figure out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just because you're in a certain position doesn't mean you can't figure out how to move to where you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once once you decide that's where I want to go, mm -hmm. it's up to you to now figure out how exactly to get there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Plus, good thing with kids in um, our country, you keep rabbits, you do a lot of hassles yourself, so you have some money. So you can use that for <laughs> like fair sometimes, I mean. Uh -huh. Yeah, you just have to figure something out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me ask you a question, because yeah. I'm sure there are some ladies who are wondering, mm, is he, is he, yeah, so are you in a relationship, <laughs> are you dating? No, I'm not, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in a relationship with, like, my music. Okay, <laughs> ladies, Munaskia. Mm? Yeah, yeah, um, mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's it. So, come up with a babe out there who's, you know, feeling you, feeling these vibes. I come through am I? Uh, you know, it's it's a two way thing. Yeah, I I have to feel her just as much as, as she feels me. So you can never be sure with these things. Okay, <laughs> all right. So let's get right into action. Tell yeah. us about Wera No Wera. It yeah. is your ka only track. Now let me tell you something. Yeah. Raj is hata kusho, mm -hmm. but he loves this song. Yani oh, ana shindanga tu. Yani mi na kumbia kila mara tu tu menda break. Uh. Wera No Wera. <laughs> 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 no. <Okay. laughs> so, but I'm so, so tell us about Wira No Wira, and then uh, we'll be playing it right after the... Yeah, Hapakazi is my first track. Mm -hmm. Hapakazi No Wira. Mm -hmm. So No Wira is Kikuyu for Niko Job to like, I'm just working. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm a workaholic. Mm -hmm. So it, it was just like the best way to come in and say like this is who I am yeah 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 so and um, I, I'm, I'm glad it has done like fairly mm -hmm. so fair enough mm -hmm. yeah so it, it's a it's a song just talking about work and respecting all types of work as long as you're not hurting you know that's a case street by the hassle so true that yeah, yeah. true that <laughs> yeah. yeah so w w just like a few uh, yeah. something small eh? yeah. Well, um, mention hustle yako ya over 13 yeah, years. Yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming mm. Wera No Wera yeah. imekuwa inspired yeah. by what the, I do. Yeah. yeah. But maybe you can tell us, Kidogo, to in the future, what are you looking at? As in, what do you want to happen for the music industry mm -hmm. and also as an independent hip hop star? Um, within the industry, of course, I want to see more growth, like for everyone in the industry, because that means more jobs for, more, uh, for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing is not just for the artist. This, this thing is for managers. This thing is exactly, for yeah. uh, designers. And your manager is here with yeah, you. Yeah, my manager mm -hmm. is, is like, yeah, the very die supportive. Hard. Yeah, very supportive. Mm -hmm. So I, you're talking of so many professions. Mm -hmm. So I would want to see the entertainment industry become more vibrant. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like we're headed there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just hope that we as Kenyans or others as Africans mm -hmm. will be part of part and parcel of this progress mm -hmm. so that we don't I think we are in the best position mm -hmm. like compared to people in the West True. people think that Western artists are lucky enough but yeah they are lucky they have a structure yeah but the good thing about not having a structure which is what you don't have is that you can become part of the solution it you can mm -hmm. create the structure mm -hmm. so artists in Africa or rather even Kenya mm -hmm. we have an opportunity to mm -hmm. build that structure mm -hmm. which is not something it's not small as some pipe, some people might think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why I like when I see what Diamond is doing in uh, TZ, mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm like, this means we can do this in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Like, you come up, you build your own label, you support, mm -hmm. and you build your own distribution. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's huge. Okay. I don't know, I'm, I'm sure any artist watching this understands what I'm talking about. True. So for me as an artist, what I'm looking at is just building that structure, mm -hmm. being that structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when in the US, they will talk, uh, artists will talk about, uh, Apple is eating from us. So mm -hmm. in Kenya, I'm looking at I could be that app. 
like oh, you know, yeah. iTunes, you know, I could be, I could the be the structure, I could be the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like just be at the helm of your, like you own your whole um, process from mm -hmm. creating mm -hmm. to distributing, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah. I love I love the fact that you know you draw a lot of inspiration from the international uh, music scene. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, this guy uh, draws his inspiration from people like Jay Z. So yep. you can understand his music. I'm not going to say is is going to be bad, but it feels like his music is more of hustle. Yeah. You know, encouraging you to yeah. wake up early in the morning, go do what you have to do yeah. to get that money going. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so kidogo mm. watcha to skier. What mm. is Hapani kazi yama, wera, no, wera. And if yeah. you don't know Kikuyu, my yeah. friend, chukua dictionary. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Chakwa marimu wako. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah.